Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to talk about the new taunt builds. And of course, what I'm going to show you guys after I'm done talking is a brand new way to play taunt builds in Hearthstone Battlegrounds, right? Because that's so exciting how they changed the taunt cards to be much better than they were before. And that probably means they're good cards now, right? Yeah. Well, no, actually. Now, taunt builds are really good this patch. But you typically don't scale them very much with the cards that utilize taunt that they buffed. So in the last patch, they buffed Arm of the Empire, which used to give, whenever one of your taunt minions was attacked, it gave it three attack just during combat. It wouldn't keep the attack. Now it gets two attack instead of three, but it keeps that attack forever. That's actually pretty useful on some cards, but in my opinion, there's very few cards that you would be able to utilize with this. Maybe if you gave like an Annihil and Battlemaster that you just played taunt, you had that and you start scaling its attack. Sure. How many times has that happened to me? None. No, it hasn't happened to me. But theoretically, that's pretty good. Haven't seen anyone else do it. Haven't happened to me, but theoretically it's not bad. The problem is that most of the cards that have taunt that you can scale early on with Arm of the Empire, well, you're just going to get rid of them later because they're not very good cards. And that is the main disconnect with the card right now from the current game state. You also have the Champion of Yashiraj, which is a pretty good card, and it got buffed. Its starting stats are 4-4 instead of 2-2. Pog, right? Wrong. Uh, Champion of Yashiraz is actually much shittier than last patch. Doesn't matter that its starting stats are a little bit better. What matters is Elystra is no longer in the game. And with Elystra, the Champion of Yashiraz was able to double up on the ramping of the stats. And that's kind of the only thing that made it viable. In today's meta, again, it's not like useless. It's not like junk bot tier, but it's certainly not good. Now, top builds are actually pretty good in Battlegrounds right now. The main thing is I'm talking about the old way to play taunt builds, but it's a pretty important piece of information to know. Um, if you're playing, honestly, any build out there that might or does involve a brand, um, you should just give taunt to the minions that you think you're going to keep. And you should do that because getting a few extra stat points by giving those minions taunt will often end up in a pretty favorable situation later. Think of it this way. If you're playing Menagerie, your opponent's playing Menagerie, it's pretty hard to just get more Light Fangs. You can press that roll button all day long, but it's pretty hard to find them. You just have to get kind of lucky. But one thing that is in your control is, you know, buffing your minions in other ways. And this is a pretty important other way. In a stat-driven mid-range meta, taunt builds are actually pretty good. Just don't go too crazy with the cards they buffed in this patch. All right? Enjoy. Let's go Finley. How is it much less exploitable? So Cadgar can't let you get like phantom triples. You can only get like one triple when you like if you have like if you have three golden Cadgars, which if you do the math is one bajillion quadrillion triples. So if you have three golden Cadgars and play an alley cat instead of getting quadrillion triples, you're gonna get one. Just one. And no extra tokens. What's your strategy this time, partner? Okay. I haven't seen the pirate baron combo yet, so I cannot comment if that works, but I I am assuming possibly incorrectly, but I am assuming it does not work. Why would it not work? It has nothing to do with triples. Are you saying that when Blizzard changes something, that's the only thing they change when they patch it? Is that what you're saying? Have you not played this game very long? No, dude. The reason the triple thing doesn't work 
in my opinion, is because they removed the phantom cards over the seven minion cap. I think that's why. Okay. Now, if that's how they fixed it, which is how I think they fixed it, then yes, the Baron Cadgar build uh, is a lot worse. It's not how they fixed it? Okay. They fixed it by delaying triple checks until minions are summoned. No, 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 no. That's how they said they fixed it. Until I see the thing work or not work with my own eyes... Like, I'm not saying 100% that's how they changed it. I'm not saying that, okay? I'm just saying I think it's pretty likely that's how it works. Likely does not mean that's how it works. I don't know how it works. We have to play more to understand how it works. Your minions really pulled their weight. Yeah, that can work. I seem bothered. It amazes me how many people in, in chat think their opinion is fact. And they argue with their opinion being fact against my opinion that I am admittedly saying is not fact. Like, it's like one of those, like, we haven't really played enough games to know for sure situations. It's like, no, crap, you're wrong. Uh, no. No, I think it works differently, so you're wrong. Like, okay, guys, I mean, maybe. Yeah, it could be. Any defeat that doesn't destroy you makes you strong. All right. Let's try to pick up a three here. Oh, money. Money's good. Okay, let's, uh... Let's get some more money then. Yeah, get one of those. Are there pirates? There's no pirates, so we actually, we actually want to sell those. Mm. Well, that's probably not going to help that much in terms of helping us win. So. Sloan fixed APM hoggers. They have not done enough. Okay, let me put it this way. They may have discouraged some people that are not yet using the the bullshit to get like crazy turn timers, okay? But fewer people are probably going to exploit in the future. But how many people that are already using the exploit, how many of those guys are gonna not use it anymore? How many? Not. The answer is not. Right? They didn't they didn't do anything to discourage people who are already using it. There's still massive advantages to using it. Right? So it's, uh, it's a pretty weak fix. Mm -hmm. I'm going to save my shekels. Yes. Yes. Save the shekels. Twitch should ban streamers that use it. Blizzard doesn't ban streamers that use it. <laughs> Why would Twitch do that? Not not bannable. I think too many people use it. I don't think it should be bannable, but I do think that Blizzard needs to address it more than they have. Hmm. Okay. Well, I won, but I'm missing a shekel. Fuck. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. All right, let's go to five and pick up some cards that are awesome. 
Well, those cards are not that awesome, but uh, yeah, they'll do. Oh, that's a banana. Fuck. I thought it was a coin. Um. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, that's good. Rip Shackle. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think I'll pass on the hour. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, 99.8. Okay, I mean, whatever. triple now. Hmm. Let's see. Raise for Bran. It's a bit tough to play Bran. I can maybe drop that. Yeah, okay. I can I can make a Bran work. I think I can. That was one of the funniest moments in Kriparian history when Crip picked Banana Prize thinking they were coins. That wasn't funny. I thought I thought that was a uh, very uh, one of the saddest moments. For you, maybe. <laughs> You're good at this. Hey, let's see what we got. I mean, what am I supposed to do with those? I don't have taunt. I, the only taunt I have is one I got. I want to get rid of. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh yeah! Wow! Wow! Well, fuck me. What does he got? Beasts. Yeah, that's going to have to go on pause, man. I want to put that on the mech, but, um, <laughs> I mean, it's not good. Like, if, if I put that on the mech and he's playing with a cleave, that sucks for me. Against beasts, I have to be patient. You like duels? Nah, I've kind of fallen out of duels. He also has a double cleave. 
It's just they're way shittier. Oh, never mind. Just single complete now. Thing you listen to chat for Bran. I mean, I was thinking about it, but all right, all right. Don't forget to freeze. Everyone's gunning for you. I mean, freeze. What would I freeze for? How is this guy so weak? Oh, like, serious question. I mean. I understand people not getting very lucky, but like, this guy's used his hero power like five or six times. His hero power is like half of the buffs on his board. How has he gotten nothing else? Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. A good tactical choice. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. I didn't like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. I have witnessed the true end time. The fools guide me. Okay. Oh, it's that guy. Oh yeah, I can just cleave into cleave against him. How did that get first? <laughs> What turn is that, Domsey? We need details. What MMR are you playing at that I got first? Turn 10? I don't think I've ever played a turn 10 game, but okay. It's a quick game and the last two opponents lost the ghosts. Oh, that's actually maybe possible then. Uh, I don't know, do I really want a triple? Fine, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I want a triple. Choice. I'll make sure these ones stick around the next time. Mm, no shield, huh? Okay. Wait, do it poisonous. And I know it's gonna have a big one. Now yeah, those might be sufficiently big. I'm freezing for brand because it's it's tough to improve this board. Uh, 
That's a good one there. Oh, that's a whole lot of damage. Looks like he's going to have a few really good turns, though. Okay. All right. Sold this cleave. Terrible cleave. But he doesn't really have much else. Terrible cleave. Holy shit. They still can't win. Okay. That was insanely unlucky. But yeah, he, he just can't win. He's. Extremely lucky. Dude, I hit him for like two less than average. It's 15 to 23. It's a huge top end on that range. I meant combat RNG was unlucky. <laughs>